Hey, how you doing? We're going to look at the slab edge tool, and it's in the Revit Structures tab. Uh, I'm going to show you how to place it, first of all, and I'm going to show you how to change the profile shape. And then maybe we'll look at uh, different ways to use the same tool, uh, of, other than for you know slab edge purpose. Now, it's this sketch uh, from a student, Raheem. How are you doing? And thanks for the sketch uh, that's prompted this video. Now, I'm going to ignore the construction related issues. Uh, uh, again, it's from a student, okay? He's asked me the question. He hasn't asked me how to build the building. He's asked me how to model it, okay? So, how do you, first of all, how do you how do you make this slab edge, okay? See the, the thickening of the slab? And then, how would you model the insulation around the slab on the other side? So, he's looking at it like a passive slab type thing, right? So, uh, so that's what we're going to look at. Okay, so here we have our uh, concrete slab. It's 150 millimeters deep or six inches. And we're going to go to our structures tab to the slab edge tool and apply our slab edge. Okay, so under slab, there's a drop down menu, select uh, slab edge. Now Revit has its own one already uh, pre programmed into the template. So we'll use that and pick the bottom edges of the, the slab. This is basically like a, like a sweep. Uh, we're picking the, uh, the, the path of the sweep okay escape escape and if i go into section there you'll see that there's our slab edge now it doesn't have a material applied so let's go and have a look at the properties so i've selected it and i go to edit type and i'm just going to apply the same material as i have in my slab let's see 35 concrete okay or you know use you use your own material uh, and there's the profile okay slab edge thickened 600 by 300 I can find that down in the project browser and I, I can change the values and or sorry duplicate and create uh, different sized slab edges but it's the wrong shape and it's the wrong controls actually uh or at least i think so anyway i'm going to click ok on that when i say the wrong controls i mean the 600 width that i'm looking for the width i want it to report is the width there at the bottom okay it's not as reporting 600 as here that's uh that may not be of concern to you but i think it should be the the smaller width that it's reporting okay anyway we want a rectangular slab edge okay so we're going to go and create our own profile so what we do we go to file and new and family and i'm going to go to metric sorry not metric i'm going to go to profile yeah metric profile uh hosted okay because that shows us where the the geometry is uh, that we're, we're going to host the profile onto Right, so here's our insertion point. We're going to go inside. So our rectangle is going to be here, basically, in that space there. Okay. So in the create tab, I'm going to create reference planes, just two reference plane, select vertical on the inside and horizontal underneath. Okay, escape, escape. Use my uh, dimension tool to dimension the X plane to the new horizontal reference plane. And my Y plane to the new vertical reference plane. Escape, escape. Let's select this guy and create parameter. What I call it height. Okay. Let's select this fella. Create parameter. I call it width. Okay. And OK. That's it. Oh, yeah. But we need lines, obviously. Okay. So on the create tab, lines i'll use the rectangle and go from corner to opposing corner and then just click the uh, toggle the locks okay and now it's it's a, it's a, it's locked to those reference points so we've got height and width so i want the width to be let's say 450. Uh, you can do this in the in the project obviously create new uh, types of this this uh, profile and i want the height to be let's say Probably only 150, but I'm going to make it 300 for another reason that I'll come back to. So probably deeper than it needs to be, okay? But the height 300 with 450. Now you want to go and save this profile family. I'm not going to bother, okay? That's family one. I'm just going to load it in. But you should save it somewhere and keep your your profiles and all your other families that you make in a, in a place that makes sense, okay? In a filing system. So load it to project and close. No. Okay, I'm going to go to my 3D view and select my slab edge okay up here i'm going to edit type 
Uh, I've got a duplicate. I could just override it. I've got a duplicate. It's best practice. Slab edge, square, let's say. Okay. I'm just going to change the profile. The material stays the same. I'm going to change the profile to mine was called family one. So uh, there it is. So go and find the, the, the family that you just loaded in. Okay. And okay. Perfect. So I've good to my section. There it is. Now, that, again, that's bigger than I need it to be, but I, I'm doing it for a reason. Uh, <clears throat> now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put the slab underneath the, sorry, the installation underneath the slab as well. This is straightforward. Uh, let's just put the floor in, okay? So ground floor, I'm going to go to ground floor plan. Uh, I'm going to change the visual style to uh, wireframe so I can see through and see the edge of the slab, okay? I'm going to go to architecture, floor, I'm going to duplicate this guy because it's the slab. So edit type, duplicate, I'm going to call it insulation. 150. Okay. I edit and what left in here? Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, oh, sorry. That'll do. Okay, uh, it's not a structural material. I'm going to change the function to thermal. Okay, and okay, and okay. Now, I'm just going to place it and then I'll go to section and bring it down. Uh, or I could go minus one, 150. I'll go minus 200 so I can align it and lock it in. Okay, so I'm going to pick line with lock selected. I'm going to pick the edge of the slab edge. And okay, escape, escape, go quit my section and keep that guy up. Oh no, I, I, sorry, I should have lined that up. I'm not Align, lock. Do I not have a material with a. some properties in it? You can see. Okay, we'll use that guy. Okay, right, so there's our insulation under the slab. So what we need now is the insulation to go down, under, and back up, okay? Now this might be a bit tedious to watch and a bit, uh, a bit confusing, but let's try it. File, new, family, metric, uh, profile, same thing again, okay? Metric profile. Posted, open. Okay, so here's our insertion point. This is the top edge of the of the, the floor slab. Okay, so I'm going to create some reference planes. So this vertical reference plane is the outside face of the vertical section of insulation. And I'm going to put in my slab, and I'm going to put in. Uh, the okay, how am I going to do this? Create the reference plane for the bottom of the slab thickening. And slab. Okay, so select this guy. Create parameter. And slab. Beginning. Okay, so it was uh, 200, wasn't it? And I'm going to select this dimension, create parameter, slab thickness. Okay, change that to 150. Okay, change the scale here so it's easier to see. Okay, so there's there's almost no limit to the amount of parameters we can put in here, but let's just pick a uniform uh, insulation depth, okay? So it's one insulation depth. 
So, sorry, I'll explain this in a moment. Okay, so if you imagine, this is the front. What I'll do actually, I'll, I'll create a line of the, the, the slab so you can see it on the slab edge. So that's our slab with the slab edge, okay? So we're putting insulation here, under here, and back up to here. So I'm missing one reference plane, actually. Reference plane here. Oops. Okay. But to mention, I said, I'm going to, just for this purpose, you can, you can have different thicknesses on these different reference planes if you want to, but I'm just, if I simplify this slightly and give all the insulation the same thickness, okay, including that one. Okay, so select, select, control, select, control, select, control, select, create parameter, insulation thickness, okay, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it 100 millimeters, okay. And okay, and it's assuming that the slab insulation itself is 100 millimeters as well. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put in my shape lines, pick line with lock selected, pick, 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 pick. Tick, 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 tick. Can you see it? <laughs> like trim to corners. Trim, 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 trim. All right, you got it? Uh, okay, so that's the shape of your insulation now, okay? So that's family two. Go and save it, okay? Because this is something you might want to use again. Now, I could be more precise with this because maybe the slab insulation is thicker or thinner. I can give different parameters, but just let's get to the principle anyway. So I'm going to load that in. For me, it's family two. Save it. Uh, and I'm going to load it in. Now, okay, just a quick note on profiles because I often rush through this without mentioning it. Your profile needs to be a complete loop, okay? So you can't have a gap. It won't work, okay? And also, you can't have one line on top of another, and that can very easily happen. And you wouldn't be able to see it so easy, right? So you have to kind of go looking for it and uh, delete lines to see if there's a line there behind it and so on. So it, it'll only work if it's one loop. No matter what the shape, it has to be a one loop and it has to be complete. Okay, so that's it. Load into project and close. Do I want to save changes to family two? Uh, no, you should. Okay, so I'll go to my 3D and I'm going to create another slab edge. Structure, slab, floor slab edge. Okay, I'm going to edit type because we're going to create a new slab edge, obviously. Duplicate uh, slab edge insulation, let's, let's just say. Okay, now we don't want it to be C35 concrete, let's just use the insulation tool for this one. Our insulation material. What was it? Rigid insulation. Oh, there we go. And oh, yes, the profile. So this for me is family two. You should become. That makes more sense than that, of course. Family two. Hope this works. Let's see. Uh, pick. Yes, it did. Look at that. Pick. Pick. And pick. Isn't that just fantastic? Now let's look at, let's have a look at that section. Ah, see, we have a problem. So if I take off my my thick lines, uh, I have a. I just need to adjust the properties of the profile because the, the, the width of the did I put in the width of the slab thick in the email? I didn't. Let's go down and check. Uh, families. Go down to profiles. Uh, family two. Okay, do we have slab? I didn't put in the slab width. Let's go and do that, okay? So there we have insulation thickness, we have slab thickness, we have slab thickening. Oh, I do actually. Uh, no, I don't have the slab thickening with. Okay, so slab thickening needs to be four hundred. I think 
that right? No, what was it? Dimension, $3, okay. So edit, sorry, go back to the, the, the profile and edit. It's uh, 300, okay. And I'm gonna go and edit that profile. So if you go to the family self, uh, right click and edit. Yeah, see, I didn't, uh, look at that. I didn't put a, I didn't put a, a, a dimension from uh, here to here. So that's the th slab thickening width, okay? Okay, escape, select the dimension, create parameter, slab thickening width, okay? I won't change the value here, I'll change it to the project, okay? Just so you can see it. Load into project, close. I'm not gonna save it. Override. So our slab thickening is 450, okay? So, so I'm going to select this, I need to go and select the profile. So family two, the type is family two, and slab thickening width is 450. Okay. And, oh, you see the problem here? Is I only allow for one insulation thickness, and the insulation thickness I put in the, uh, the floor was 150, and the one I put in for the slab thickening is 100. You change this one to 150 or you can just join. So use the join tool, select the slab thickening and select the floor. That's it, sort it out, it's fine. no problem. Now, we had that other problem, okay? So TL, the thickness of the lines, I know you've already addressed this in your templates or whatever, the thickness of the lines are not gonna be the same, okay? So if you go to VB in your keyboard or uh, graphics, uh, sorry, visibility graphics here in, the, in properties, let's pull this off a little bit so we can see it. Go down to floors. Okay, and I'm going to go to slab edge and cut lines override. Wait, I don't recall what the floors are. I think it's probably two. I'll change it to two. Okay, apply. Uh, looks about right. More or less. Probably three. Let's just change it to three. Okay. Now that's going to be different in your project with your line weights, okay? So there it is. So I've changed the slab thickening, uh, sorry, the slab uh, edge line, cut line. So it's the same as the floor. There it is. Now my material probably shouldn't have that, uh, I've got to change that just because it's irritating me. Rigid insulation, get rid of the elevation material at the foreground, change that to none. Okay, 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 there we go. All right. So we got our slab thickening and the insulation around it. I hope that was useful. <laughs> if it was, you know, please to get a, a like and a comment and be kind to Raheem and uh, pass on to somebody else who might need it, okay? And obviously, obviously, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, click the thing. All right, see you next time. Thanks.